Hello, Brother Vic. How are ya? I am a new man. Why? Why are you a new man? We'll get into that. Oh. Right now, I'd like to say hello to our fans out there, our listeners, our watchers. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. I go by uh, he, hims. Yes. That's just to reiterate. Yes. <laughs> oh, welcome to the Unfollow Vic podcast. Um, I'm changing mine like <laughs> Demi Lovato. Yeah, last week, I was what, cock and sucker. I'm, I'm going to do they, them today. They, them today. So refer me as they, them. You got it. We'll try to keep this. Uh, we'll, we'll try to keep it together. Yeah. So anyway, today's show. Sorry, just getting it out of the system. So as for today's show, we got lots of updates. Uh, I made it out of Facebook jail and Vic finally made it back here in studio. Then we're going to take a quick look on how men and women get their way in relationships. It should be interesting. After we get through with that, we're going to take a dive into Jack's news, into Brittany Grinner's new nine-year Russian contract. Oi. It's going to be a rough one. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think? This was going to be smooth? Nah. So then, uh, last but not least, we're going to get into Vic's fantasy football notes, news, and insights. Wide receivers, baby. Hey. It's the wide receiver day today. So, as you can all tell now, if you follow me on Facebook, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm, I'm back in action, right? I got the Facebook jail tattoo. I've converted. I've made my peace with God like a phoenix. I've been reborn from the ashes. <laughs> a new, a, a brand new human with understanding. <sighs> Facebook. Now, does this just make you want to? Do more stupid shit? No, it it confuses me more than anything. More than anything, it leaves me confused as fuck. Because I trying to take your freedom of speech, Jack. Well, okay, so let's get into the obvious. Like, can you twenty four hours of not having a reason to touch your phone is pretty fucking insane. <laughs> like, well, if you can't go twenty four hours, that's insane. But go ahead. Well, try it. Yeah. Try it. No, I won't. Exactly. <laughs> no one will. <laughs> well, for fantasy football purposes, I can. True. Yeah. I mean, you have reasons, but it, eh. all right. So the reason I'm confused about it is because it was a post about a fat chick. Like it was a fat person and with a genital joke. And I reposted it. It's not like I made it. How right? dare I don't, you? I'm not, I'm not very original. <laughs> uh, you know. Just stop kind of fucking with on. the fat community. Yeah, dude, they're so they're mad. strong, man. That's like eighty percent of the U.S. It was a fat show. I've wore, I've posted. I've reposted. <laughs> way worse. Like way the fuck worse. But it, in for comedy's sake, right? I've reposted memes of making fun of school shootings and and not had to explain the comedy. I mean, it's <laughs> I It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to make a joke about it, but I think I did it. <laughs> I think I managed it. You're an idiot. No, nah, look, the bit is about the like the bittersweetness. Like, you yeah. want to talk about frogs? Yeah. Alex Jones over here. Yeah. Not even that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he, he's in trouble. But uh, no, the bittersweetness of uh, of a school shooting, but the only one that gets shot, shot is the, the school asshole, like the school bully. Mm -hmm. So everybody in school is like, God damn, that was wild last week. But fuck, if it works, it works. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, what's, what's going on? I, explain. So <laughs> this you you po reposted a fat girl you said or something yeah. like that. Like what was even the the, the was it a meme or it was, it was just a meme. A, just yeah, a meme. Right. what did it say? Very plain meme said something about how when you go over uh or when she says she's got fat pussy and you go over and she's just this giant woman with you know what I mean? Ha ha, yeah. so funny. My <laughs> but yeah, most people uh, agree that that's my comedy, and you know, I my comedy is my comedy. You can't yes. tell me what my comedy is. So I, I and you well, know, in what? today's world, they'll tell you whatever they want. They'll tell you what's yeah. funny. They, you know. They'll tell you what's funny, what to follow, yeah. what you should like, mm -hmm. and all that other stuff. My pussy matters. Oh. <laughs> that's gonna be the drop of the day today, folks. Yeah, in case you were wondering. Uh, so amazingly, I found out that the real addiction wasn't even to uh, reposting. It was to putting a thumbs up on everybody's shit. What do you mean? Like, I, just, I thumbs up everything that I think is funny, even if okay, I don't yeah, repost yeah. it. You mean like or thumbs up? I don't yeah, know. like. Whatever. On I'm Facebook, not a Facebook I fucking, guy, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm the Instagram whore. It is like. I'm just a fucking moron. No, because you can choose which 
emoji to put. Oh, yeah, I know what and you're talking about. Yeah, usually yeah. the thumbs up, the default is the thumbs up. Gotcha. I hit it like acknowledgement that I've read it. So sometimes I'll give somebody a thumbs up that posted like my dad died and I'll be like, I, I won't realize it. <laughs> <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> You're supposed to give like the sad emoji. Like, yeah. oh no, but I won't spend the extra time. The thumbs down. To, I won't, no, I won't, I won't spend the extra time to scroll through the options. So I just hit the, yeah, you just hit the, yeah, the you, default. I saw it. I saw, you know, I saw what you posted. That's good enough. You know, I, I think I've done that, but unintentionally. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I've done that a lot. There's, there's always that one guy. So yeah. that's what I'm really addicted to. <laughs> yeah, man. Mm-hmm. So remember, guys out girls. there, guys, and girls women. out there. And and they, them. Let us know that you're there. Drop us a thumbs up, a like, a comment. You know what I mean? Drop and the thumbs down. Drop a thumbs down. Shit talk. I don't. I like. Fuck. Yeah. I want you to. Sh- I, I want the shit talkers. They they make my day better. So yeah, we're smoking these nice cigars in studio. It's nice Backwards. to have you in studio, but yeah, I well yeah that that's my first update. I'm finally back in the studio. Um, I'm glad to be back. Like it's very roomish. I mean, my house. You know, my my condo is nice, but. I'm next to you. This is cozy, bro. Yeah, I got the long road trip, you know, two and a half hours. Wake up in nature. Wake up in nature. That's what I'm saying, because PA is such an amazing place. Like, when you get out of the city and you come here, you just, like, your body just. <sighs> yeah. Just like, it's like, yeah, this is this is where you belong. Um, The only problem I did have is coming back to the studio. For some reason, I don't know how Google is built, but when I connect to the well, I'm hardwired in, but when I connect to the hardwired in, I have to like reset my passwords and Google needs to make sure because they're so used to me being in New York city that when anything from Pennsylvania comes, I have to re log in. So Google is actually makes it pretty easy because you just hit login. If you know your information password, and then it sends something to your Gmail and it goes, is, is this you? Mm. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, it's like <laughs> it has that woman's uh, algorithm. Yeah, Go, yeah, yeah, Google's algorithm. You come in at work. three in the morning. Is that you? Uh, <laughs> and, and then the burglar's like, "Yeah, all right." You turn on the PlayStation. Hurry up 5 in bed. Yeah, from the bed, your wife. Yeah. Is that you? <laughs> it, 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 if you're gonna rob a house and you know, it's like just the couples and the woman's there. Cause obviously you stalk them and the guy left, just come in, turn the PS five on mm. and automatically she'll think it's you. And then, then just go throughout the whole house. Yeah. Be all right. It's like throwing a steak for the, for the attack dog. You just, yeah. and then last but <laughs> oh, not least just him <laughs> for my fantasy football people out there, we're getting closer, man. I have the other date set. I got, I'm in three leagues. One of my dates is August 29th. I got September 2nd, and I'm waiting for the other league to figure it out um, how we're going to do it. Oh, I got you those cups, by the way. Yeah, man. I love these. It's a housewarming gift. All right. So uh, I'm excited for the football. I'm not going to lie, because now I'm, you know, I got you here. I'm I'm forced. Whenever I'm I'm here, I definitely want to contribute and show you what football is all about. Yeah. But you also kind of forced me to have to pay attention and to kind of call you out on your bullshit when I see it now that I'm going to have to see it. So, well, you never call me out on my bullshit. This is true. People you know like, football, but you don't know football. I'm not a professor, but very I, I can intern. You can intern? <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're here. We're in the studio. We're brainstorming because, you know, we don't have 50 writers. It's just Jack and I. Mm. And occasionally I'll call our uh, producer, Vinny. But he's always busy. Um, but I think we always go through more or less real yes. life shit. This isn't and, made and that's shit. where I want to kind of keep it at. I think last week's episode was by far one of our biggest episodes we had as an Unfalvic podcast and for season three. So we're doing good. So I think we're doing good. Keep it growing, guys. Keep so it growing. Jack and I go, what can we talk about? And it's like, okay, well, what are the ways men get their way? And what are the way women get their way? Right. So that's what Jack brought up. And I'm like, all right, I think we can get into this. So it's always good. You can lead it off. Yeah. I like to charm in. I'm well, going to be the charmer today. This is, we're going to, we're going to get into this eventually, but it's chime. I know there's a lot of people that don't like to comment or correct anything, but it's chime. Yeah. <laughs> 
This is what I'm saying. This is what you guys could be leaving in the comment section, but leave it to me. Fine. Whatever. I'll just do whatever. Oh, and before we get into this, our women's listeners have gone up 12%. Really? Yeah, within the last three weeks. Good girls. Good girls. So, women, the unfollow Vickians. Yeah. <laughs> Don't the be a Karen. Vixens. Yeah, the Vixens. <laughs> we found it. We, we got love, the name. We, listen, listen. It's comedy entertainment. So yeah. it's either you're here to enjoy your day and get through your hardship or fuck off. And this topic, you guys, you actually, I feel like you guys are like, because not all women do it the same way, right? But, but women do get... For, for things that they definitely want, but they know is totally irrational, they have their ways of getting it, right? But men too, right? I, I came into this house. Uh, we bought a new house. We call it the compound. And um, it needed work, right? But I made sure, like, for instance, we walked in and we needed HVAC system, right? That's like three, $4,000. Explain that to women. They don't uh, know all right, that's the AC. That's what keeps you cold Heating, and warm. AC, right. Ventilation. Um, and just imagine you tell your husband or boyfriend, hey, we just bought this house. We don't have a lot of money. We need to, you know, have this HVAC system or I'm going to be hot in the summer and I'm going to be cold in the winter. Hot and, and bothered. Would you believe it? The motherfucker builds a podcast room instead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a studio. <laughs> a studio. That's, that's commitment lounge. right there. Dude, I, but. Jack is committed. I have my ways, but she has hers. Yes. Right. Obviously, this wasn't a big issue because she knew at the end of the day, I'm going to have to make it happen anyway. So this HVAC's coming one way or another. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's that's a good point. you Because if, if we don't get our way as men, it's kind of like time passes and we'll get over it. Yes. Not to a woman. Not the case. No. <laughs> the women case. have folders in their minds. There's one folder for... Clothing, jewelry, and luxury materials. There's yeah. one folder of what the IOUs, which is where you're gonna fall into. This is yeah, that's where this. And goes. the other folder is I'll just do whatever the fuck I want. So right, right. So if you don't build it, someone's building it, and it's gonna end up happening. So, uh, the way she gets her way, and the way I feel like the more intelligent women get their way. See if this is you. Um, she <laughs> waits until it's I'm, I'm ready to fall asleep, right? Yeah. Like I'm, we're laying in bed. She's telling me about her day. I'm loving. She's it. got the the watch rolling. In yeah, <laughs> you are getting sleep. Exactly. She knows what. Yeah, she knows that when she starts talking, it's like a white noise machine. Yes. I just fucking I the just boom, just began. fucking starts hitting me. Waves of tired. I could I could have just woke up and she start talking. I'm just all right, I need another nap. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm kidding, but I'm not. Um. And then she'll drop, right? Just as I'm, I got one foot into dreamland and I'm, I'm just barely out on the other side. She goes, do you want to go to Disney for a weekend? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Uh-huh. And boom, I'm yeah. fucked. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucked for a three day weekend at Disney. Just like that. And she knows I'm not going to go back on it because I said what I said. Even if the next day I go, I didn't fucking say that. I was, oh, oh yeah. look, I recorded you. Oh, she uh, did? No, no, she didn't record oh, Okay, because that's what she I might was going well, say. Though. She might as well. If it's not on pen and paper, <laughs> this is where my sick mentality goes. Yeah. So for stuff like that, I need pen and paper or a text message, you know? That's why I like to text in more than talking on the phone. Text message makes sense. Yeah, because I'll talk on the phone and I'll agree to shit, but that's because I'm just trying to get off the phone and listen to like a fantasy football or podcast or just, you know, having my auto tune in yeah. to the world of work. Um, but yeah, and I'll be like, no, I don't recall saying that. She's like, yeah, you did. You did. I'm like, ah, that's why I like the pen and paper or the text. Right. Well, I'm, I forget text. You know this. So even if it is a text, it's useless. Yeah. I just, and, and I think now it's getting to the point where, she doesn't even need to say or ask. She could just be like, no, remember you said, and I'd be like, fuck, no, no but no, no. your memory's better than mine. <laughs> Her karate is just better than mine. She studied the art of war. The woman's fucking sharp. And I mean, look, at, at and the end of the day. And if it works, it works too. And if it works, it works, yeah. it works. Yeah. Um, she does. I, 
that's an intelligent move. But then there's like female moves that drive me up a wall that, you know, every once in a while, if, if one doesn't work, you gotta, you gotta change the game up. I think you deal with this most when, when, when you get, when you get the, Oh, Oh, okay. Oh, okay. (laughs) Yeah. I get the fine and I'm okay a lot in my world. And, and she just leaves it to you to destroy yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so now, you're, oh, so like, like I say, I don't do things intentionally, right? Uh huh. I just so happen to be that guy that pre plans. I'm very organized. Mm. She's the complete opposite. She's the procrastinator, the go with the flow, and I already know my strong points. So like, I'll simply when when I make plans, I make plans. Like I know what I'm doing up until October first. And yeah. by next week, I'll know what I'm doing until fucking November. And that's crazy because I don't know what I'm doing after this. So. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there's this thing called an iPhone. You put your planner in there, you know? Yeah, you're an organized person, like you said. I'm eating kisses, by the way. These are Hershey kisses. Yeah. I haven't ate this morning. But yeah, well, I organize. So I'll go up to her. I'll be like, hey, listen, like this week, for instance. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to Jack's Friday. Probably stay there till Saturday, come home Sunday. Or maybe I'll come home Saturday early. And she goes, yeah, but we have dinner. And I'm like, well, we got dinner on Saturday? I didn't know. Yeah. Like in the beginning, I totally forgot. And so I kind of like, fuck, like, I just want to come out here and relax. Yeah. But I also want to do dinner. I like having dinner. That's, you know. It's a big deal. It is a big deal. It's podcast and dinner. For for fat guys, meals are, mm. meals are important. Meals are very important. They better have oysters, too. <laughs> You're bougie. But I don't know how she gets her ways. It's still, I'm still trying to think because it's like, I know I give her my plans. And then if I don't mention a day, she'll be like, oh, so then what are you doing Saturday? Okay. We're going to dinner. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Hmm. You know? And I'm not, I'm not a fighter. I don't don't mind doing things. So she just has that veto power. I just have another, like, I look at things where like, I don't know. I don't want to sound conceited, but. I try to get my things done first as well. That's but nice. you got to understand, you know, a, a relationship does come first, which, you know, I struggle in a little bit. Um, I, I don't know. I, I think that in order for you to be happy, you got to take care of you because you can't come to a relationship where you're not happy and expect oh, no. it to be a happy relationship. It's not, no, it's so not you got to take care of number one. It's just planning. And it, it, it doesn't sound conceited. I just think it makes more sense to just take care of number one. And as long as number one's taken care of, who's going to, who's going to shit on your day? All right. You know what I mean? So I, you got to look at it like that, man. But I, so you don't always get your way. I oh, no. do not always get my way. Well, I think not. Well, in the relationship, I think if you had to pick who gets their way more, it's me. Yeah. Well, but that's you not for me. your shit. I'm they them, by the way. That, right. Yeah. They so for you, you get your way concerning your shit. Yes. Right. But that's because, like I said, I pre plan. Like I'm, yeah. I plan everything. And and women, this is where I don't know how Jack you are, but like men, we're built in the same factory. And the More point what I'm trying to make is, we just do things one way and consistently. You understand? Yeah. Like, I don't change it up. This is what I do. And that's it. Like, I'm not, I don't get into this. I don't get into that. I really forgot where I was about to go. But like, I want to know, like, because I, I've witnessed it before when you're, oh, oh, okay. You're, that's, that's your plan. Mm. You're not gonna, you're, oh, I know. I just, I thought I was more important. I just yeah. crazy. And women, just, you are important. <laughs> But also a men's mental state is important. Number one comes first. That's why it's the first number. Yes. <laughs> because if we're not mentally there, things get crazy sometimes. You ever just go on a drive on a highway and just drive? You ever did like highway therapy? No, no. That was never really my thing. I don't I don't like to to drive. I like to be in a car, but not, oh, okay. not drive. That's that's another thing. When uh, when I'm in the car, if I can just be like, Hey, you mind taking the wheel? I'm going to be driven. I don't, cause then what ends up happening is I'm just going to start staring at shit out the window and you're going to wish you were driving. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, not an accident, but we're definitely not following lines. 
in the room. Mm. <laughs> but what I'm saying is like, okay, so another thing that um, that I've noticed is the the mo- like mentioning it, mention it here, mention it there, mention it again. Even if like the whole time you're like, I don't know. I don't know if that's really a good thing. Oh, no. All right, we'll, we'll just talk about it again. In a week. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, not to the point where you're like, geez, you know what? Yes. Let's, let's go do this because I'm not going to hear the end of it. <laughs> no, and, you're, and you're not because when we talk about stuff, like if I got to get something off my mind, I'm like, Hey, you got the time? Yes. Boom. We do. De- we done deal it. We seal it, pound it, hug it, kiss it. Right. I've been into arguments where we'll talk for 30 minutes. I feel like everything is great. And then like an hour and a half later, there was something she might've forgot to say. And then like my day gets ruined sometimes. Yeah. Cause it's like, all right, everything's good. Great. I'm thinking about doing this now. I'll surprise them with that or this and that. And then it's like, Oh, you had to bring that up. Didn't you? Oh uh, yeah. But yeah. Like you would think mm. the conversation is now over. We just talked for 30 minutes. That's me. And Texan wars suck. Yeah, get away. I text from fast. That. Yeah, yeah, I got, yeah. I love doing the in person or over the phone, but get away from that. Yeah, no, I'm gonna get away. It's from really that. not good. Like if you're if you're having text message arguments, nah. Mm. Well, that and this is occasion. Obviously, this this doesn't happen all the time or every time. Yeah, but you both lose when you do that. I, I listen as a man, you're gonna lose, and either way. And I think <laughs> men, we suck our pride more than anything. We just like okay, you win. But they don't even want to hear that half the time. <laughs> no. It's like, okay, you're right. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. That's it? <sighs> I had the next 45 minutes scheduled yeah. to fucking yell at you. <laughs> That's what you schedule. <laughs> you won't schedule plans. You'll schedule arguments, though. Now what do I do with all this time? <laughs> yeah. I ain't going to do the laundry or the dishes, but... I'm just going to walk around going... <sighs> <sighs> yeah. And that's another thing. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to cause wind currents yeah. for the next fucking 45 minutes. Yeah, men, if you want to just really piss your women off, if if you guys get into an argument and then you guys talk about it, just go, "You know what? You're right. I'm sorry." And just like he uh Jack said, now they don't know what to do for the next 30 minutes. <laughs> so then that's what they're going to start cleaning, doing the dishes, make make making sure you hear the dishes clap. Yeah. <laughs> making sure you hear the fucking laundry door close. How the fuck are you making yeah. paper plates slam? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she slammed the revolving door. Did you see that? <laughs> you got to love it. Like, we, oh, it's just so weird. It really is weird. No, it's. We, that, that quote or that, that meaning where you can't live with them, but you can't live without them is always, I, like, I'm going to get that tattooed on my ass. Yeah. Yes. There's and no. Then- <laughs> There's no secret to that. I would have thought of a better place, but. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll do the woman tattoo on my ankle. Yes. There you yes. go. That's, that's little where petite. You I just wanted something small. Yeah. With butterflies that fly yes. off the end. And an infinity, <laughs> and an infinity <laughs> tattoo on my wrist with the Roman numerals from when my grandmother died. Oh, man. Ladies. But which, how do you go? How do, how do you get your way? Like, yes. I want to know how. Because I know how I get I get my way, and it's as long as she says yes. So if it's if there's no problems with it, we're full steam ahead. If she says it once, it's done deal. Like I, I think that's how we get things done. But I so she hypnoses you at night, right? And mine is kind of on the nose. Yes, just, this is what I want. This is what we need. This is and and usually it's yes. You yeah. have to say yes. If you can afford it, you have to say yes. If you can afford it, you have to say and yes. And if you could do it, you say yes. Yeah. Don't but, worry about your mental health when it comes to making plans with women. Don't worry about hanging out with friends. Don't fuck your kids. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck your brothers and sisters. They're going to grow up and yes. really appreciate their friends then. See, the cycle continues. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, are we doing Jack's news? I think we should. All right, let's get into it. Go. Jack, what do we got? So today we have a very fitting uh, discussion 
planned for a, another woman that is used to getting her way. Uh, Brittany Griner uh, the, is now sentenced to nine years in Russian prison for smuggling THC vape uh, cartridges. A gram. Okay. It's a gram. Before uh, we shit. <laughs> and she issued an apology to everyone, including all 50 fans of the WNBA. Yes. So, so before we get into an unfollow Vic style news, I just want to say, first of all, I, I, I think the nine years is excessive. Yeah. It's fucking. But, but then again, you got to understand. See, th- this is where entitled Americans come. This is every legal. country, every state, every nation every fucking town neighborhood has their own fucking rules right legally legally and legally yeah this is not this is not a political fucking this is not oh well everyone should be american no No. because then why would we be scared to go here or why do we travel there it's right it just is what it is she she knew it was in there she was guilty she smuggled I think it was more than one though. It, it was, was like more a few than, cartridges. So it was it was it added up to a gram, right? So what I'm assuming was that she had two used cartridges or two half gram cartridges. Um I don't think it was a lot because if the total is a gram, it's it's a gram at the end of the day of this fucking yeah. can a THC oil. But um what what I thought was funny is that her in, well, all right, let's get into a little background and then we'll get into the Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, Brittany Griner, for those that don't know, uh, WNBA player for some fucking team. What's the WNBA again? I don't know. Um, and she stopped actually taking the floor for the national anthem. She just decided to hang out inside. Anti-American. The, uh, yeah, I mean, one of yeah, let's just say it's one of those situations where she didn't really see the point in going out and showing the uh, proper respect and appreciation for Wait. the country. That she plays that she for. she plays and uh, gets paid. <laughs> yeah. And gets to travel. Right. Okay. Right. I'm There's, just confused. Yeah. Um, and she actually had gone out of her way to ask the WNBA to stop playing the national anthem altogether. Now there's making a point, there's making a statement, and then there's that. And that's totally yeah. not fucking cool. Yeah. Like, And who are you? And then there's who are you, which yeah. is really, honestly, no one would still really know who the fuck she was, but it's not making it any easier on her. So we'll, we'll continue on with a little bit of her history because you would think with all of these accolades, more people would know who she is, Yeah. but the WNBA well, star. What? Yeah. Before you get into that, cause you know, we do our homework. So I go on YouTube just to see, I mean, they don't even have like, you look her up, Brittany Griner, whatever, Griner, uh, jailed. There's like. 38,000, 100,000 viewers. That's. Oh, for those. That's low. For not, I mean, go look at Joe Rogan podcast. Or go look like, like this is like 10, 15 million. I mean, the little kid that plays with toys gets 15 million views. That's right. how much people give a shit. We don't. Right, right. No, no one does. Yeah. And it is it is what it is. You know, famous. It, at the end of the day, she's an American being held in Russia, which yes. fucking well, she's sucks. Not being, well, yeah, she's being held in Russia due to her actions. And uh, due to her actions, right, right. So, but now she's being sentenced to nine out of the maximum, which was ten. Um, some people are like, "Oh, how how dare you know yeah, bro, nine like years? Nine? Like, first of all, they're not your fuck on my Facebook, dude. I like friends of mine, dude. Are like, how do you, you know? Come on, man. It's just a little. I agree. I totally fucking agree. As a friend of the league, I agree as well. I fucking agree. I don't think anyone should be jailed. But for this that's shit. not in America, right? I, that's why I'm not over here. You know, Lloyd Blade, fucking. You know, that's why I don't speak Russian. I speak American. I speak English. I'm here. I love America. I served our country. It's the way that it should be, right? Um, but I don't take a knee or sit in the fucking in the 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 locker room while the national anthems playing. No one fucking, no one should be doing it. And I guarantee you the rest of the team's not doing that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I don't know, man. In case Mexico grabs me, I want to make sure. Uh... Yeah. Now they're weighing their and options. And then it's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, um, let's uh, move forward in laughing. the 2023 season. Uh, we're not taking no more knees, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> We take enough <laughs> on our off days. Uh, we're not doing it this day. Ah. <laughs> giggity, giggity. 
So what the, the, what I kind of want to jump into is I think that had this story stayed completely fucking silent, we would be trading. We wouldn't even be trading. It wouldn't even be a trade. Mm-hmm. Russia just be like, do you want this trash back that yeah. floated on our fucking like they're criminals? I'll be your NBA. What are you talking? Yeah, this is dishwasher. You yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Future clothes folder. Yeah, dishwasher <laughs> mixed with laundry, mixed with mid make sandwich too. So yeah. we have no use. No. We have a uh, take back. We have plenty. Yeah, we have plenty here. And <laughs> this one just talks all like, day. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean this and that, and I'm gay, and I don't even know what have this LGBTQREFYZ hashtag your mom. I don't yeah. know what this shit is. Imagine trying yeah. to fucking explain that over there. Good luck. But didn't she want this for America? The, I mean, she's living the way. I mean, nah, I'm pretty sure she didn't want to live in jail. Um, well, yeah. But that's kind of what happens when you break other people's rules. But my point was, if Russia thought they just had some like back alley dyke with amazing lung capacity. <laughs> oh, my God. They wouldn't be trading for a 25 or this part, the, uh, the person that they're trading for is a arms dealer. This is dealer. what Biden suggested, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, this is what our um, former vice president Biden to my understanding was going to trade um Brittany Grinier Grinner for a weapon an arms dealer that's currently serving 25 years. He was also a terrorist. Serving 25 years, we're trading that. We're going to give that back to Russia. Yes. For my pussy matters. Like, <laughs> hold it, hold it. Wait, my pussy matters. We're trading that for that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just, I don't. She would. She That's would not have a good ma- trade. Yeah, I, I think that the more people talk about it, the harder it is to get her back because now she's sentenced to the nine nine years out of the ten, where I think she might have even slap on the wrist if they were going to hold her. Gave her like a year, maybe because she's a. At the end of the day, we are America. We do have nukes. The last thing you want to do is fuck with us. So, I, yeah, but we're not dropping a nuke no, for no, a no. WNBA player. Well, we'll and drop. their tickets are still not going to go up after this publicity. I maybe I don't know. No, I don't think so. I think for the first two weeks of the new season, it'll be amazing. Um, I, the reason you got to understand, I, Americans, we don't give a fuck. We no, don't. No, this we this don't, is the don't. story now. And Pete Davidson just broke up with Kim Kardashian. Am I correct? You yes, did that, and absolutely. that's gonna be that's gonna be the biggest thing tomorrow. So, yeah, we are. And then we all forget about, about Britney. We all forget. It's Britney, bitch. <laughs> I, the reason that I kind of disagree uh, with the uh, the whole no one's gonna remember this is because at, the WNBA did raise seventy five million. Um, what? In, from a yeah, they raised seventy five not this? from ticket sales, but uh, but the group including Nike, Condoleezza oh, Rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they all want to revamp the league. I, I unless they're playing basketball in like cheerleader clothes, I don't see how they're going to put more seats, more asses in seats. They should play with one titty out. It's something. I mean, even yeah. football decided to go and do the women's league, and they're just, they just they're, they're so hot. They are. You have a, oh my yes. god. I know exactly what you're talking oh. about. I don't. I can never find it on TV. Just social media. No, but. you gotta look. But but we look for it, right? How many times have you fucking typed in WNBA fucking nationals? Never. No. <laughs> I don't want to see six foot seven women. I just don't. I don't care if they're that tall. I just don't want them to be so. I'm I don't just know. not into the sport. Can people just not be into the sport and not be criticized? Like, why should I give a fuck about that? I give a fuck about baseball and football. That's right. It. So th- I think that's really the problem. I think it's basketball. It's only fun to watch people dunk and shoot if they're doing it from like ridiculous distances and doing the craziest shit, which yeah. just doesn't happen in the WNBA. Yeah. I so mean, really yeah. what you're left with is just a personal statement of look at what I can do. Yeah. And yeah. it's not that impressive. But I don't know. I um, unless they're going to use the seventy five million dollars to actually pay people to come, I don't even think they'll come then. Even if, hey, look, I know we. Do you were think that's why tickets. they sent trans <laughs> people into women's sports to kind of amp that dunking, that physicality? Um, I don't like think if there's LeBron any LeBron James sports, trans. becomes LeBronda, ends up in the WNBA. You don't think people are going to watch it then? I think people are going to watch it. I don't. I mean. You got to want to watch 
women just get totally de- like an entire yeah. league. It, just it'll get be totally two hundred fifty points in the by the half. Like Le- LeBron that would be crushing it. Yeah. yeah, they're whatever team LeBron is on <laughs> is taking it. Mm. What are you going to do? I mean, I, look. I don't like the trade. I don't like the fact that she's in there. I don't like the fact that she thought she can get away with it because let's be real. Your excuse of, I didn't know it was there. Yeah. That's not an excuse. That's That's not, you can't say that in court. I forgot. That's so you, you forgot the pen, but you remembered to also bring the backup cartridge. Yeah. (laughs) Like you, you and and that's another thing. First of all, are you even <laughs> allowed to smoke as a professional athlete? Yeah. If you are claim you? it's medically, uh, yeah. You, you In which states, though? Because do I mean? don't think the New York Giants could go out and smoke weed. You know what I'm trying to say? No, but I mean. I think they would just get in a way with a little more because. I, I don't, I don't. Like know. I say, nothing against weed. I don't, I don't think it's criminal or anything, but you know, no. obviously this is in America. And it's a vape pen, so it doesn't. It's not the T eight. It doesn't have the the tar and shit to fuck up your lungs. Yeah, no, I got you on that. So but like, was she even allowed to smoke? As far I guess as so. Performances, as far as performance wise, I don't see why it would hurt you. Yeah. So I watched the documentary a long time ago. It was called Black Dolphin. It was like jails in Russia. Ooh. I mean, this was for the men, though. I I, I, don't, I don't know what the women's one, but I don't look. even know if they have separate ones. What are you talking yeah. about, the women's section? Get in there, stupid Get bitch. In there. <laughs> Igor needs to make babies. <laughs> That's fucked. If Biden stays president, we're going to war. Um, yeah. So, like, I watched that documentary, and the men when they when they get jailed, they go to prison. They're blindfolded to and from their cell and their cell is literally like three by four, no window. I think they have a small light and just a bed and a shitter. That's it. So they don't know, like that's how they try to avoid this being escaped. But I also think that's also psychological because oh yeah, you don't know where you're at. You're just in a fucking room. Yeah. And then when it's time to go eat or shower, they blindfold you, bring you. And then now you end up in the shower and God forbid if you raise it's a smart. fucking hand. It's smart. It's yeah. it's smart. If you don't know the layout, yeah. you can't escape. They get handcuffed, blindfolded, and they have to walk at like a 90 degree angle. Like, you know, like an old lady. They have yeah. to put their head down and just walk straight. Yeah. Because they're more concentrated on not falling than like an actual person would be like, all right, so I get out the door. I'm making a left. Mm. Making a left, 10, 20 steps. You make a right. And then that's for today. Today, you, you memorize those. And then the next day, you memorize the next thing. And it becomes a routine. But I guess since they bend you over and kind of move you, you're like more focused on trying to fucking catch your footing that, that you forget sense. the steps and the movements. That's what I came up with. I don't know. That's pretty clever. That's pretty clever. You got to have a sick mind to really get into the I'm a sick person. the who's and the why's of, uh, of how they do things. Meanwhile, in the United States prisons, I think they get like HBO. Yeah, HBO. <laughs> they get their phones. It's like being in the military well, yeah. without <laughs> HBO. But you know. our prisoners are treated better than... Folks in the military sometimes. But let's take a knee. Let's take a knee. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's, and that's really, that's why I don't care. That's why I'm telling the story because I want it to be bigger than, I mean, I, I want, obviously, for the our podcast. The bigger the story gets. Hey, I want our podcast to be better. But honestly, I feel like, hey, you do the crime, you do the time. Yeah. And, and uh, the bigger the story gets, the more unlikely um, Putin's going to let this girl go. Yeah. Like there's no pardon, uh, pardon, pardon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me ask you a question. Um, someone, Shoot. someone comes to your house, right? Do I know this person? No, actually I, let me, let me restart this. You have your home, pretend you got kids, you have rules, your kids follow, they don't follow it. You kick them out or you throw them out or whatever. Right. But when you have a neighbor's kids come over, do you just let them do whatever the fuck they want? No, there's rules. You correct that shit, right? Yes. All right. How serious is anyone going to take your rules if you don't even enforce them in your fucking country? True. And you see why now our country, I mean, I know this is kind of serious, but now you see why it's kind of a big deal when you just let people fucking go. And you know what's going to even be funnier? (laughs) What? I'm already funny. No. So (laughs) you're going to see like, like these crazy white women that are going to now protest and- 
put things up. Yeah. And it's going to happen. It's going to, do you think Putin's going to read this and go, Oh my God, I'm so I'm scared of the white people from Washington and Ohio and New York city and Chicago. We, we got to free her. No, you're literally going to make it worse. I think he's laughing. I think he's leaving oh, he's, he's, smiley I'm face emojis you. on. He's probably got all a TikTok on he's, this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's scrolling. Ha ha, yeah. stupid bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking smiley face. Hundred <laughs> percent. He's watching. He's oh, laughing the yeah. whole time, and he doesn't even need to watch. He's probably got you know his people. They're like, hey, listen, check this out. Laugh. Pretty there much. Dick shot. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Um, I, I just, I guess we can close this out with just like one last thing. I, uh, I also know from people who, you know, you listen to all the news reports that in Russia, it's, it's still a pretty big fucking deal. It's not America that you will get thrown in jail. You will get slapped with the max. Like that's just how it is in Russia. Yes. This isn't a lot of people. Oh, it's political. Not when the majority of the prisoners that are in there get the maximum for doing exactly what she did. You want equality? There's no better equality than that. Yeah, that's equality, no? Enjoy. Enjoy. Now you get no privilege because you didn't want any. Yeah, but she didn't want this. There was, no, she no, didn't know she, she had need it. need for America. This is where you don't take what you have for granted. Right. Now people like her, I don't know what's going to happen if she does get out in nine years and five years and two years and a month. I think if if Biden stays, uh, former Vice President Biden, yeah. is stays in the position he's in now, I don't think nothing's really going to change. The guy don't like him. No, and, I, and I'm, I'm just going to assume if if Trump was in office, she would probably be on the next plane. Keeper, we don't fucking need her. Oh yeah, maybe not. <laughs> she need for the flag. <laughs> <Get out. laughs> She need for the flag. She knew what she was doing. You're I can't fired. do his voice. I, I'm doing more of a gangster voice. <laughs> yeah. You fired. want me to get her out? Should I get her out? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. People don't tell know. me all the time. I How about this? Out. I'll put it on my list. Anyways. Yeah. In between bashing Fauci, he's like, yeah. fuck her. <laughs> so anyway, man, anyway. how about we roll into the next? Let's go into Vic's. Fantasy news. Boom. All right. I have a lot to cover. Um, this week on Fixed Fantasy News Notes and Insights, we'll be covering wide receivers. I'm going to give you top 15 guys, and then I'm going to give you some breakouts, some sleepers, some maybes. I don't know. Uh, we're going to head into the trades, but just before we get into the trades, breaking news, Tim Patrick is out for the 2022 season. He was a wide receiver for Broncos, and he believes had a tour ACL. So he's gone. So that means two wide receivers are going to be climbing up on the ceiling, mm. Court and Sutton and Jerry Judy. All right. So let's just get into some notice, noticeable trades and things that I think everyone should be paying attention to, wide receiver trades. Uh, Tyreek Hill went from the Kansas City Chiefs to Miami Dolphins. Robert Woods went from the Rams to the Titans. Devontae Adams went to Green Bay Packers to the Las Vegas Raiders. Amari Cooper went from the Cowboys to the Browns. And Juju Smith-Schuster is now on the Kansas City Chief, formerly on Pittsburgh. All right, here we go. Wide receivers. Uh, wide receiver number one, uh, Super Bowl winner. Mm. He is amazing. Really is amazing. The king of wide receivers. Need I say more? He's a beast, a machine, and a whole cup of awesomeness. Cooper Cup, LA Rams. Uh, this is how he stacked last year. 191 targets, which is insane. 145 receptions, 1,947 yards. Jesus. 16 <laughs> touchdowns. This man got you 367 points, and he's averaging 21 points a game. Hmm. He was targeted 38 times in the red zone and had 13 run zone. He was targeted 38 times and had 13 run zone um, touchdowns. Um, his ADP is at 106. Which is a duh. Yes. And <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I don't agree with this because if the number five or four guy have the option of picking this guy up, I'm picking him up. I'll even pick him up. 
I don't I don't know. I want to say the third, but four and five. If this man is there, you're picking him up. You cannot let him pass you. Yeah, you cannot give up a Dalvin Cook for a Cooper Cup. I get it. It, it. I mean, well, it also depends. Full PPR league, you're picking him up before the sixth. Four or five is probably the best on there, but he no. is heavily targeted. I mean, 145 points in a full PPR last year, just on catching the ball. So I have a question regarding this. All right, hopefully I can answer. I, I hope so. I'm kind of putting you on the spot. I, I'm sorry. Um, the, uh, the quarterback, doesn't, doesn't the quarterback also matter? Like if you have a certain quarterback to kind of pair with the wide receivers, yes, it's a super, super bowl, fucking important? super bowl team. So I'm saying, I mean, who he would you pair? What do you mean? If you have one, shouldn't you get the other for the points? Oh, you're talking about stacking. Yeah. Ooh, we could talk about that. I'm always going to eventually get to it. But yes, this is a guy you could stack Cooper Cup and the quarterback easily. Okay. You could stack those two. You don't want to stack like a like an Eli Manning. Not Eli Manning. Um, Daniel Jones. Damn, I'm thinking like 2000 fucking whatever. Daniel Jones and Canarius Tony. Those two you don't want to stack up. You know, right. you're not going to get the points. But yeah, if you were to um, the Rams quarterback with one of the wide receiver running backs, you're good. Yeah, you want the appetizer to match the entree. Yes, so it'll complement the entree. Right. All right. So wide receiver number two. This was one of my guys last year. Uh, Justin Jefferson from the Minnesota Vikings. He was on my team last year. I love this guy. Uh, he was just like a best friend. Always there for you. You know, um, he had some unusual games last year, but Adam Thielen got some of the work done as well, which took away from him. Uh, I don't believe Adam Thielen is a, is going to be as dominant in the red zone as he was this year. I think Justin Jefferson's role is going to go up with the target share and his red zone um, touchdowns. Uh, This is how he stacked 2021. He had 167 targets, 108 receptions, 1,616 yards, 10 touchdowns. He got you a total 276 on points, and he's averaging 16 um, points per game. He had six top 10 finishes, and he played every week, which is also something that's great. When you get a wide receiver... Just as elite as this guy, and he plays all 17 games, that's big. His ADP is at 106, which I believe he's right after Cooper Cup. So if Cooper Cup is gone in the fourth, the fifth guy should be looking right at Justin Jefferson, Mm -hmm. Uh, especially full PPR, like I said. But at 106, I mean, it's fine. As long as you pick him up five or six, you're good. Cooper Cup should definitely be taken out unless you're you're just a Jefferson guy. I'm not going to hold it down to you. Wide receiver three, Devontae Adams, uh, Las Vegas Raiders. One of the football fantasies, elite wide receiver. He's unhuman and a red zone magnet. Uh, When he was with the Green Bay Packers, he got 30% of the target share, which is outstanding for fantasy football. Although he won't have Aaron Rodgers as a quarterback, he'll be with Derek Carr, who he's not Aaron Rodgers. We're going to put it out there. Aaron Rodgers is a, is a pro quarterback, but I believe Derek Carr will still hit the targets. I believe Las uh, Vegas Raiders will be a great wholesome team with the, the weapons they have. Um, this is how he stacked up in 2021. He had 169 targets, 123 receptions, 1,553 yards, 11 touchdowns, 282 fantasy points, and he was averaging 17 points per game. He's got six top 10 performances. He played all 17 weeks, which is a little rare in the last two years because in the last two years, he missed um, four games um, in 2019, weeks five through eight, and he missed um, weeks three to four in 2019, which I had him. But uh, if he plays another full season, these numbers are going to stay or better, hopefully. Depends on the quarterback. That's what we're all rooting for. I mean, uh, his ADP is 111. I mean, that's not a... That's not the most perfect ADP for him. You could maybe steal him or maybe try to, because now we're talking towards the end of the draft. So now you can kind of steal him and a running back. For me, I would probably grab a running back. And then on that quick turnaround, or if you're the last man, if he's the one standing, then you got to go for him, especially full PPR. Uh, Wide receiver number four, Stephon Diggs, Buffalo Bills, baby, Bills Mafia. Another elite wide receiver, but um, what makes him special is he has an elite quarterback. He has the man, the number one quarterback in the league, Josh Allen, uh, which means it's going to be more plays for him. 
And I look forward to seeing Stephon Diggs go. And to have a quarterback like Josh Allen who could easily rush or easily throw or easily fake, that's good to have. Because if if they think he's going to run, defense kind of pulls off a minute. And then all you know is Stephon Diggs goes for a 50-yard pass. So this is how he stacked the last year. 164 targets. Yeah. 103 receptions, 1,225 yards, 10 touchdowns. He got you 234 points for fantasy. He's averaging about 13. His ADP is 203. Yeah. I believe that's great. Where he's at, that's fine. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, like I said, depends on your league. You know, you're going full PPR, three wide receivers. I'd, I'd pick him up 100%. He takes the number one spot. Uh, so, yeah, 202, 203, 204, give or take one. That's fine. Wide receiver five, Jamar Chase. What an amazing rookie start for Jamar Chase. I mean, if... If he had him on his team, he was golden. He was the guy that where he scored, he dominated. He didn't just score. He would dominate. He got one touchdown. He got more. He kept going back for more for some reason. If you didn't have him like I didn't, and I got hammered in the fantasy football Super Bowl, I made it to the final last year. I came in second. This guy absolutely killed me. I mean, it was it was like the one o'clock game. And when I look down at my phone, I'm like, that's it. I'm done. Like, I don't even get to enjoy football all day because he scored 51 points. I get into that. So this is how he stacked in 2021. 128 targets, 81 receptions. Now you're like, okay, everyone that I just mentioned had 103, 123, had 108. This guy didn't even have over 100 receptions, but this is what he got. 1,455 yards. 13 touchdowns, got you 264 points. He averaged 15 and a half points per game. He had five top 10 performances. He played all 17 weeks. In week 17, this is the week I lost, 50 points. I mean seven, right? Week 17. Oh, all right. I'm reading. Yeah, in week seven, he got 30 points, which is big to have him as a wide receiver. Why? Because he wasn't wide receiver one. He wasn't your wide... He wasn't... He was just someone you picked. It was a rookie you ended up picking him. So you mm. definitely had better elite wide receivers. And then this guy just came and he was probably your wide receiver uh, three or even on the bench. And then you're like, whoa, this guy's consistent. Let me throw him in. And you won weeks because of this guy. His ADP is at 110. That is perfect for where he's going. Like I mentioned, if full PPR, um, he's going to win you weeks. I just don't know how great of a talent he's going to be this year. I think he's going to be good. I think he's going to be a top 10. I don't think he's going to repeat. No rookie really repeats what they did their first year, especially as a lead as him. These are like mm. unheard of numbers. Do you, don't um, you think, though, you're shooting yourself in the foot? Because, I mean, if he comes out again like he did last. Oh, no. He's he's going to get picked up. That's why I have him as wide receiver number five. You, you're going to pick him up. You're going to hope he repeats. Yeah. But I'll think he'll be targeted more. But, mm. you know, now going out there, people, they're going to double team him. They're going to they're gonna be on his ass. Right. So that might be good for uh, the other wide receivers, T. Higgins. But here we are, wide, wide receiver number six, Debo Samuel from the 49ers. Debo was my guy last year as well. I picked him up in a good position, and he just went off. He he just signed a new contract. He has a bonus because they, he was kind of like a duel. He was a wide receiver, but they used him in the running back game. Um, so he said, hey, if you're going to use me again as a running back here and there, you're going to have to pay me. And mm. I think they should pay him. So... I forgot how much the whole contract is, but if he gets over 300 rushing yards, he's getting a bonus. And if he scores more than three rushing touchdowns, he's getting a bonus. This is how he stacked last year, 2021. 120 targets, 77 receptions. He had 1,405 passing yards and then had 365 rushing yards. He scored six passing touchdowns and four rushing touchdowns, 10 total. He got you 300 fantasy points. He's averaging 18 points a game, and he had nine top 10 finishes with only 16 games played. He's going at the 212. I wouldn't be mad if you took Debo Samuel over Jamar Chase. I mean, if it came down to those two, yes, there is a huge upside to Jamar Chase because he's going to get those 50-yard bombs and maybe those three touchdowns a game, but Debo Samuel is a dual threat. Mm. The guy can catch. They might do audible rushing yards. He's going to get you probably more touchdowns. But yards, I don't know. And one's more points than the other. Yes. So he might get a bonus, and then he might be able to, I don't know, buy a WNBA team. 
Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get, I'm going to actually skim through a lot, try to get through them quick. Uh, wide receiver seven CD lamb, how he stacked up yesterday is uh, last year was 120 targets, 70 receptions, 1,102 yards, six touchdowns, 193 on your points total. And he averages you 12 points a game. So he's, he's probably going to go off. I think this is a guy where if you pick him, he's going to do a lot better than he did in 2021. Uh, yeah. He might hit double digits on touchdowns. I think he's going to get a, a little more targeted. He had 120 last year. He might he might end up seeing 130, 135, which that means it builds on his receptions. It's going to build on his yards. It's going to build on his total fantasy points. He's going at the 204 right now. Um, I mean, eh. Debo, I think, is going around that too. Well, they got Debo at the 212. This guy's at the 204. I I would certainly pick Debo over him, but then that's your preference on how you are stacking, how you're going, and who you have picked before him. Uh, Wide receiver eight, Mike Evans from Tampa Bay, 113 targets, 74 receptions, 1,035 yards, but here's the kicker, 14 touchdowns. Wrecked it. 14 touchdowns, wrecked it. Uh, Five top 10 performances, 16 games played. He's going at the 302. Here's the big question. He's going to be an elite quarterback. He's going to be someone you want on your team. But also, and he has Tom Brady. But Mm. remember, so there's good news for Chris Godwin. He could be coming back. That might take away some of the targets. And then they also picked up Julio Jones. That might take some of the touchdowns away. Mm. 14, unlikely to get again. I do think he'll hit double digits. I don't know if he's going to go over 12. Um... But he's definitely a guy to pick up. All right. All right. Wide receiver nine, Michael Pittman Jr. from the Colts. He's good. Wide receiver 10, I got Mike Williams. Wide receiver 11. And this is something we haven't heard in the last few years. Tyreek Hill. Mm. Uh, He got traded. He's on the Miami Dolphins now. Uh, he's He's a big elite wide receiver. He has the talent. I'm not so proud of... The quarterback, you know, to a tongue of my low, I believe it's pronounced. That's his quarterback. It's not going to be the elite quarterback of uh, Patrick Mahomes. But um, this is how he stacked up in 2021. He had 159 targets, 111 receptions, 1,239 yards, nine touchdowns. And he got you 241 fantasy points, which, oh, my God, that sounds great. I had this guy. He was my, I believe, my first first round pick. Mm-hmm. First or second, because, you know, I had the back-to-back. Uh, he played 17 weeks, had five top five performances. Uh, everything else was outside the 10. I mean, he's he had eight weeks outside the top 40. I mean, I from where I drafted him, it wasn't worth what I got. It's basically what I'm saying. He's falling off, but it's not on his fault. He's, he's, he's an elite wide receiver, but he gets double stacked. Mm. Um. They fear him. I mean, look at his 2020 stacks. He had 134 targets, 87 receptions. He had 1,276 yards, but 17 touchdowns. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Like, if you look at it, he went up in targets, he went up in receptions, but he went down in yards and he went eight, he, he, you know, eight less touchdowns. Eight less touchdowns. Yeah. 45 uh, less on um, yards as well. Mm-hmm. So his ADP is at 206. Uh, I don't think he's going to be a top 10 quarterback. There might be a chance. Who knows? Is he draftable? Of course, you got to draft him. He's going to be a red zone magnet. Um, is he going to compliment? Who? That's the thing. We, we don't know. You got to take the risk. He's top 11. You definitely have to have him on your lineup, but it's not someone you're going to pass. All right. Uh, 12 through 15, I have DJ Moore from the Panthers, Keenan Allen from... The Chargers, Cortland Sutton from Denver. Like I said, Tim Patrick got hurt. So he's probably going to be the wide receiver one. And then Brandon Cooks, I had him as well last year. Uh, Wide receiver number 15. Uh, I'm going to get into breakouts and sleepers. Who I think that will be breaking out this year is going to be T. Higgins. I have him as wide receiver 16. I got Marquez Hollywood Brown, wide receiver 20. I have Jerry Judy as wide receiver 24. He's probably going to be a great wide receiver two on your team. Uh, Juju Smith-Schuster, very talented, and now he's with the elite quarterback, Patrick Mahomes. We'll see how he stacks, but if he goes off, he's going to go off hard. Mm. Here are my three sleepers. 
I have Devontae Parker as wide receiver 39 from the New England Patriots. I have Kadarius Toney as wide receiver 40 from the Giants. And then I have K.J. Osborne, wide receiver number 57 from the Minnesota Vikings. Oh, don't you know, it's fool, hard doing all these fucking notes. Yeah, I don't know why I took this, but Jack, let's end it on a good note. Hey, just want to thank everybody for tuning in again. Uh, please remember, like, share, subscribe, comment. Do whatever you can and do whatever you feel. Uh, we love it when you guys tune in and um, we appreciate your support. Yes. Uh, Instagram, Unfollow Vic Podcast. Facebook, Unfollow Vic. And YouTube, we're in the studio. Share, let your friends know. Big hit last week kind of gave us that big boost confidence. Um, but yeah, this is it. Coming and, in uh, with that big dick energy. Yeah. <laughs> What's that song? There's a song with uh, some female says, uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Unfollow Vic Podcast. We'll see you next week. Uh, comment, like, share. Let us know what you want us to talk about. And you never know. We might talk about it. Peace. Peace.